Let's make the perfect storm from Kraken Rum. We are going to make this drink in the glass, and the Kraken uses parts instead of ounces, so that means if it's a really big glass, you can make a really big drink as long as you keep the parts the same. You just have to adjust your units. I'm using a highball with eight ounces in it, so I'm going to be using ounces. I'm going to start by adding ice to my glass. One more. Or two. Then I'm going to get my ginger beer and three parts ginger beer to one part rum. So I'm gonna put about six ounces of the ginger beer in the bottom of the glass. Six ounces is about something metrics. I'll put it in the, in the subtitles down below. How many ounces in this? Oh, 12, so it should be half of the bottle. It's gonna be less than that because of the ice. But you'll have to forgive me, Kraken, for screwing up your, your proportions. Let that settle a little bit. Hmm, that's not half-ish. Oh well. Then, one part of the rum. One part is gonna be about two ounces. Let's see if I can get two ounces in there. And we're gonna to try to float this on top. Oh, I poured too slow and it ran down the side of my jigger, which will benefit our proportions, get us back in line. Hmm, we could have put a little bit more ginger beer in there. Oh well. Garnish. The official garnish for this is a lime wheel twist. And I'd never one, done one before and I wasn't going to try doing it on camera. But I, I, I cut it and I twisted it and I put this skewer through it and it made a little S, which is kind of nice. So I'm going to put that right there. And I'm going to add a straw. And my garnish is going to sink because of the ice. There we go. I'll do it that way. And there you have it. Perfect storm from the Kraken rum. Drink with good spirits. You may want to mix it, otherwise you're just going to get ginger beer and then black spice rum. Up to you. Cheers.